I do feel like Salah has lost a lot of lost that edge. Think, lost think... that edge. Lost that fire. He's lost that pace. He's lost. Lost. He's become unidirectional. It's definitely a bold decision, but it definitely has the opportunity to be a good one. Right. Uh, but will it be a good one with Salah at the in the team or not? That is the question. Uh, I think this is that this is a crossroad situation with Salah, right? I think if right now, if you ask me, I really think we should sell Salah. To be honest, we should kind of get whatever money we can get for him because again, only because there is Dutch league who is going to pay 100 million for him or somewhere close to that, yeah. right? No, not Dutch league. Sorry, Saudi league. Uh, so, yeah, only because there is someone who can actually pay that amount of money for him, we can reinvest and get a new. Because again, I'm not saying this because he's been poor over the last couple of months. He's he's a legend. He's a legend for Liverpool. And I think, but the thing is, he is never going to be the torch bearer for the next generation of Liverpool under the new manager. You don't know what the new manager is going to do with him. And you saw how pissed off he was yesterday when he was benched for a couple of games, and all justifiably because he was benched because the team was doing so well without him right now. And you've seen how. How well we were against Fulham without Salah and Nunes. It, it's not working. I mean, it's just it's not working right now. And we don't want probably to kind of not to, we don't we don't want to kind of have someone on the team who was not pleased with their position and their role in general. And this probably all things considered, his his, atta- his attacking output is also kind of declining a bit. So this is basically where we can just sell him, get some good money, invest again, and then get a new you know front three, whoever, and then move forward. I think if Klopp's yeah. leaving, I really don't mind anyone if anyone else is leaving. Yeah, he's a great player. I just feel like he's. I mean, just the quarrel with Klopp I just want to know more about it I haven't read much about it but I just read that he sort of said something like if I would speak there would be fire or something like that so yeah, is, that, that little, is there more so that that's enough? So that's a little out, blown out of proportion because, I mean, to be honest, we see the video of him doing it. So he was like, you know, he was walking through the press area and people were calling, you know, more a word, a word. And he was like, I personally think what he said was that if I speak anything, you guys turn it against us and that will become fire. And that's why I don't want to speak to you. And, and he was like, he was smiling. And by think, saying so, he spoke something. That's the whole, that's the whole point. That's <laughs> he, the, yeah. he, was, he was not, he was, he was being very yeah, he was not there. pissed. I, I don't think he was pissed or anything. I think he was just the narrative that sells that is being printed the quarrel has definitely happened like, I do feel like Salah has lost a lot of lost that edge yes yeah, I, just feel. I, I think lost I think that edge lost that fire he's lost that pace he's lost, lost he's become unidirectional one dimensional sort of like a footballer Right now, he's really clinical for sure. He's a good goal scorer and everything, but like something about him is a miss. And I feel like Klopp realized this. Got like younger people there. Javi Elliott was playing left, right wing, I think. Javi uh, Elliott, yeah, plays right wing, yeah, right wing or right midfield. Yeah. So yeah, I slightly, that's, that's... I slightly disagree. But you know why? Because I think up until he went to Afcon, he was on fire. Like he was providing assists, he was providing goals, he was leading everything for Liverpool. Then he came back. He got injured at Afcon. Hamstring went away, and then he was just not him. Mm-hmm. And I think, unfortunately for him, the move, the playing style went past him in a way wherein, like, it's very difficult to, you know, get a player back in and cater your playing style to him in a run-in. So he was just not available to have that continuity to maintain his skills and his output. I think that's what played against him. Maybe he's gone down a little bit because of those injuries, but I think he's still, you know, the same player that we had at least at the beginning of this season, if not the I'll, last. And I'll the- tell you what, right? I think Salah has been okay. The injuries have kind of, kind of, you know, subdued him a bit and AFCON going away at that point at the stage of the season that is kind of not ideal but the first game he kind of started or he kind of was, was on the bench for after AFCON after coming from injury an inch perfect pass to Diaz right away for him to yeah. start he, he was doing his part it's not yeah. if Salah was off his mark or anything and these small things these margins actually mattered man I think if, if, if that goal was scored if we won against City or if you know all the things that he was doing for the team are being converted or being at least fruitful there is there are these videos doing rounds on Twitter like what Salah has created and how the team has failed him the output by not having the output and there is one specific video of Salah creating so many chances for Nunes only for him to kind of keep blowing them over and over and over and I'm telling you it's, it's I can understand his frustration right I mean, 
mean it, it's him and Nunes are not working together they they are they're not able to kind of function together and if Klopp does what he has to do like he has to bench him and Salah is a sore loser when he is on the bench yes. he yeah. kind of lashes out and everything and I think any player does like even Henderson did that Milner did that and Salah is not doing it but I think right now again I think it's a good time for him to kind of move past all of this frustration again somewhere and then for Liverpool also also to start fresh and I think that's what I think should happen but and I think that's what will happen because right now there's no Klopp and none of that sentiment right now it's just all Michael Edwards and more of this professional approach to things so we'll see yeah and Edwards also has a track record of building teams by selling superstars so yeah, yeah. he doesn't uh, so I think that that definitely plays against him 